Karibu kwa taarifa zetu naitwa Mashirima Kapombe na mtangazaji wetu wa ishara ni Meresha Owiti. Taruki imetanda maeneo ya Langata, Kibra na eneo zima la Southern Bypass jijini Nairobi baada ya simba kuripotiwa kutoka nje ya mbuga ya kitaifa ya Nairobi. Kwa mujibu wa maafisa wa shirika la wanyamapori KWS, simba hao takriban sita walianza kuelekea eneo la kijeshi la Langata Barracks kando na mbuga hiyo na baadaye wakatoweka na kama na vyarifu Mark na Maso wa raia wameombwa kuwa macho na kuripoti simba watakao waona huku msako wa KWS ukiendelea. Shughuli za kawaida maeneo ya Langata, Kibra na barabara ya Southern Bypass jijini Nairobi zikishuhudia mwingilio wa askari wa wanyamapori. Kisa na maana msako wa takriban simba sita wanaosemekana kutoweka kutoka mbuga ya wanyama ya Nairobi. We have been trying all the best as a park to get them back to the park. Uh, we realize that uh, <coughs> once the, there was a culvert in the park, I think that uh, gave an access because between us and barracks, uh, it's the same vegetation, the same thick bush in the park is the same thick bush in the uh, barracks. Wanyama hao wanasemekana kuwa na mazoea ya kuingia katika kambi ya jeshi ya langata, licha ya kuwa na uwa la umeme. Shuguli ya moja wao wa kike ikiwa kuzaa na kuwalewa wanawe hapo. Na bomba moja likazibwa kwa vyuma baada ya kubainika kuwa wao hupiti ya hapo. Na hapo jana shughuli ya kuwa NASA ikaendelea hadi saa moja usiku. Immediately we called off the operation at 7 around 7:30 going to 7:45 we got a call again that the same lions had been sighted in barracks and so what we did because those are nights is that we send the response team to go and watch over the night to ensure that uh, everyone was safe there and cordon off the area so that then today we would be able to start the operation. Lakini alfajiri ya leo ripoti za simba zikawasili. At 2 in the morning we got a call uh, from some people who say they have sighted uh, four lions around uh, uh, Langata Hospital on Langata Road. So we suspect that the lions were not able to go to the park and so uh, they, they made their way in a different direction. Tulizungumza na baadhi ya wakazi wa Kibra Langata na wakatupa isia zao kuhusu tarifa ya simba waliotoroka kutoka kwa mbuga. I was worried but you walikuwa, walikuwa midita nikafungia kwa nyumba tukakaa mpaka sisi ndio tumetoka haikunipatia wasiwasi juu hii area najua vizuri tunaishi karibu na na wanyama kuna mbuga ya wanyama hapo nilikuwa nilikuwa naenda kazini saa kuna mas, gari ya maskari ilikuwa inatufata nyuma wakatuambia tutembee tukichunga kwa sababu kuna lions imetoka nje kwa hivyo tujiadhari Na kufikia leo jioni, msako uliojumuisha ndege ya helikopter ulielekea eneo la langata barracks ambapo simba mmoja alionekana. Kisahiki cha utoro wa wanyamapori sio cha kwanza kwani jamii kama za Masai ukabiliana na simba mara kwa mara. Mwaka 2012, simba jike aliuawa baada ya kuondoka mbugani. Jambo lililo lazimu wanawe kupelekwa hifadhi ya malezi kwa wanyama. Mark Namaswa, KTN News. Wakati shughuli ya kuhesabu kura ikiingia siku yake ya pili, uh, ghasia zimeshuhudiwa jijini Kampala katika makao ya chama cha kiongozi wa upinzani Kiza Besiji huku mgombea mwingine wa urais Mama Mbabazi akizuiliwa kwake nyumbani kwa zaidi ya saa tatu. Wakati huo huo hesabu ya kura inaonyesha kwamba rais Yoweri Museveni anaongoza kwa kura milioni mbili laki saba na kumna tano, mia tisa kumna nne huku Besiji akifuata kwa kura milioni moja laki mia nne kumna nne Mia saba na nane, mwana habari wetu Lofti Matambo, anaarifu wa kiwa Kampala. Na mashukran studio ni langoni mwa makoma kuu ya uh, chama hiki cha upinzani FDC. Uh, kama na biojionea hindo hali livyo uh, bila shaka uh, moja kuenda wa kama kamera yangu ineza kuonyesha moja wa labda wafuasi wa kiza besi jia kiwa ametiwa mbaroni na maafisa wa polisi uh, ni, ni hali ya mshike mshike uh, katika lango la makao makuu ya chama cha upinzani FDC uh, Forum for Democratic Change chake kiza besi jia 
ambaye alikuwa anatarajiwa kuhutubia uh, wanahabari uh, kuhusiana na kushikwa kwake hapo jana alipokamatwa uh, masaya jioni kisha baadaye kuachiliwa uh, alifaa uh, kuzungumza na na kuweza kuhutubia uh, na um, kama unavyoona nyuma ni risasi ni vitoa machozi vile vikilipuliwa na wale askari kuweza kuwatapanya na kuwatawanya hawa raia ambao wengi ni hao wafuasi wa Kiza Besije ambaye alikuwa anahutubie Uh, wana habari lakini haikuwezekana kumbuka kwamba kuna bado uchaguzi unaendelea siku ya pili Uganda ambapo vituo 38 vinane uh, vinatarajiwa kwamba vinaendelea kupiga kura zile ambapo tayari kutokana na mat, ma, 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 matangazo ya uh, tume hii ya uchaguzi electoral commission uh, ni kwamba Joweri uh, Mseveni yuko katika uh, uongozi na na, na vi, vilipuzi nyu, uh, bila shaka hali hali si nzuri hali ya mshike mshike ambayo inashuhudiwa mahali hapa katika uh, Kampala jiji kuu la Uganda wa fuasi wa Kiza Besi jo kirushiana mawe huku uh, maafisa wa salama wakirusha uh, vitoza machozi na mtakuwa tunakupasha yuapo tutakuwa tu, uh, hotuba hii ama kuhutubia huku kwa wanahabari kiza besi jatafanikiwa manake sasa hivi ninavyozungumza yuko ndani akiwa anazungumza na uh, kiongozi wa uh, maafisa wa polisi mahali hapa ambaye amefika Metropolitan uh, Kampala kuweza uh, kumrai labda siweze kuhutubia raia na wananchi wengine na wale wafuasi wake ambao wamekuwa uh, wakiimba nyimbo za kusifu FDC o, o, one people one Uganda kwa muda mrefu hadi sasa bado hajaweza kuhutubia wanahabari kutoka jijini Kampala Uganda nikiripotia KTN mimi ni Lofti Matambo ya kupambana na ufisadi nchini ESCC imekana kuwa iliharakisha uchunguzi wa tuhuma zilizokuwa zinamkumba aliyekuwa waziri wa ugatuzi na mipango ya taifa Anu Igoro mwenyekiti wa ESCC Philip Kinusu amesema kuwa tume yake ilikuwa inamchunguza Waigoro kwa madai manne yanayohusiana na utoaji kandarasi miongoni mwa mengine Francis Mtalaki ana maelezo kamili Tume ya kupambana na ufisadi nchini ESCC imekana kwamba iliharakisha madai ya ufisadi yanayokumba Bi Anu Iguru ESCC imekariri kuwa Waiguru aliponyoka tu katika madai manne na sio sakata ya shilingi milioni 771 na kwa jukumu la kuchunguza sakata hii lilitoka taasisi tofauti We're going to be doing is taking available information on that file together with information that has emerged through the affidavit and i'm sure new information that is going to come forth we're going to compile our file uh, as in i've mentioned the multi agency team that is working together but it's our file drawing on all those sources in order for us to make a conclusion a determination uh, on what is happening cha kustajabisha ni kuwa mwenyekiti mpya alidinda kutaja taasisi hizi zilizohusika na zingali zinahusika alichoelezea ni kuwa sasa wameunda kamati itakayofanya uchunguzi zaidi kwa ushirikiano na taasisi hizo fiche. I should name that institution. I'm not going to do that. I want you to go and do some research and find out based on what what is what is. ESCC sasa imekana kumondolea la wama bi Anu Iguru kuhusiana na sakata hii ya shilingi milioni 771 za mradi wa NYS au kuharakisha tuguma zilizokuwa zinamkumba makamishna wapi watume wamedai kuwa Iguru aliponyoka tu kwa madai manne yanayohusiana na uendeshaji afisi. The channels of communication between ESCC and that gov other government institution were not as open as they have become under the multi agency forum which has been created ngoma hii na zeze ufisadi kwa undani ndio inazidi kubaini mengi ya kilichojiri kwani hadi sasa huenda sakata hii ikafikia shilingi bilioni mbili bilioni moja nukta mbili zinadaiwa kutumia katika utoaji ushauri au kwa kimombo consultancy services shilingi milioni 845 zaidi zinadaiwa kulipwa kampuni zilizopewa kandarasi ya kuleta bidhaa tofauti kwa niaba ya wizara ya ugatuzi na mipango ya taifa 
Miongoni mwa kampuni hizo ni kampuni ya Transit Media Group kandarasi ya shilingi milioni 375, Consulting House shilingi milioni 282, Brand Associates shilingi milioni 290, Greenberg Holding milioni 134. Fahaza Limited milioni 85 pamoja na Dama Services milioni 28 Francis Ntalaki Gate and Leo Weekend Day